The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the second book of Maccabees. It also happened that seven brothers were arrested with their mother. The king tried to force them to taste some pork, which the law forbids, by torturing them with whips and scourges. One of them, acting as spokesman for the others, said, What are you trying to find out from us? We are prepared to die rather than break the laws of our ancestors. And with his last breath, he exclaimed, Cruel brute, you may discharge us from this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up, since we die for his laws, to live again forever. After him, they tortured the third, who on being asked for his tongue, promptly thrust it out and boldly held out his hands, courageously saying, Heaven gave me these limbs. For the sake of his laws, I have no concern for them. From him, I hope to receive them again. The king and his attendants were astounded at the young man's courage and his utter indifference to suffering. When this one was dead, they subjected the fourth to the same torments and tortures. And when he neared his end, he cried out, Ours is the better choice to meet death at men's hands, yet relying on God's promise that we shall be raised up by him. Whereas for you, there can be no resurrection to new life. And our response is taken from Psalm 17. Listen, Yahweh, to an upright cause. Pay attention to my cry. Lend an ear to my prayer. My lips are free from deceit. My steps never stray from the paths you lay down, from your tracks. So my feet never stumble. I call upon you, God, for you answer me. Turn your ear to me. Hear what I say. Guard me as the pupil of an eye. Shelter me in the shadow of your wings. But I in my uprightness will see your face. And when I awake, I shall be filled with the vision of you. And our second reading comes from the letter of the Apostle Paul, the second letter to the Thessalonians. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who has given us his love and through his grace, such ceaseless encouragement and such sure hope, encourage you and strengthen you in every good word and deed. Finally, brothers, pray for us that the Lord's message may spread quickly and be received with honor as it was among you. And pray that we may be preserved from bigoted and evil people. For not everyone has faith. You can rely on the Lord who will give you strength and guard you from the evil one. And we, in the Lord, have every confidence in you that you are doing and will go on doing all that we tell you. May the Lord turn your hearts toward the love of God and the perseverance of Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Some Sadducees, those who argue that there is no resurrection, approached Jesus and they put this question to him. Master, Moses prescribed for us that if a man's married brother dies childless, the man must marry the widow to raise up children for his brother. Well then, there were seven brothers. The first, having married a wife, died childless. The second and then the third married the widow. And the same with all seven. They died leaving no children. Finally, the woman herself died. Now, at the resurrection, whose wife will she be, since she had been married to all seven? And Jesus replied, The children of this world take wives and husbands, but those who are judged worthy of a place in the other world and in the resurrection from the dead do not marry because they can no longer die, for they are the same as the angels. And being children of the resurrection, they are children of God. 
And Moses himself implies that the dead rise again in the passage about the bush, where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living. For to him, everyone is alive. The Gospel of the Lord.